Let me start this off with a scenario for y'all. Once again, for those of you who are thinking that everything is about race, let's take race out of it for a second. Imagine there is someone in your front yard who is a known domestic abuser, sexual offender, and someone who is known to illegally own guns outside of your house and your kids are playing on the front lawn. You would go confront him, right? I mean, that's the only logical thing to do. You might bring a gun with you. You try to have a conversation with him. It doesn't go well he walks over to go grab something now are you gonna wait and see what he goes to grab or are you gonna act accordingly based off of being a protector for your family and your property so let me act this out for y'all just so you get a better idea because you know I've tried to talk logic to y'all before but that doesn't seem to work we choose science over fiction we choose truth over facts okay so they were talking on this side of the car they were doing whatever he was upset, so he starts walking over here, right? The cops are following him. He has no regard to the fact that the cops are behind him holding guns because they have no idea what he's about to do, okay? Now watch. So we are right where he was about to enter his car. The cops are about two feet behind him holding guns to him because they have no idea what he's about to grab. Now let me give you an example of this. Let's say somebody is holding me up. They're saying, I want your wallet. I tell them, well, it's in my truck. I know that I have a gun right on the inside of the door on my truck. So I say, okay, no problem, just follow me over. This is the same reason why he got shot. And this happens all the time. Okay, no problem, sir. Let me let me go ahead and grab my wallet for you. Yeah, it's right here, man. Boom, you're dead. That's the point of this. That is the point of this. When when he was reaching in, he was reaching in for something. He could have been grabbing whatever. I mean, he can go this way or he can go this way. Both ways the cop is shot. I mean, seriously, what did y'all think he was grabbing? Oh, you know what, officer? You know, you look a little sunburnt, so I, I figured I'd grab you some aloe vera just while we're talking. You know, you really gotta take care of your skin nowadays. No! All right, there's one other thing I wanted to grab for you. Stop being idiots. Respect the badge all men and women created by the go you know the you know the thing see so that is the exact situation that jacob put these cops in he has been charged before with assault to a police officer being a sexual offender domestic abuse and unlawfully owning a gun so what do you think these cops are going to do do you think they're going to be like oh you know what maybe he's maybe he's grabbing a dildo out of there come on why do you think this guy is walking away from the cops in this scene it's for one reason, it's a lack of accountability. Same with Rashard Brooks, same with George Floyd not wanting to get into the police car. It's a lack of accountability for the crimes that you've committed or respecting the badge. And there's this big thing right now where people think that they can just walk away from cops and they'll just let them go. This is all very simple. Let me tell y'all how to fix this. And I'm no expert, but I've got a little bit of common sense. If a cop is talking to you, obey his commands. This is what people don't get. You are going to be accountable either way, okay? Let me explain it. If you break the law, the cop is not going to quit until you are arrested, period. And if he does, he's a shitty cop, okay? So that's the first way you're gonna be accountable. Secondly, if you try to resist, if you go gra try to grab a weapon or something out of your car, you're probably gonna get shot. So either way, you're gonna become accountable for what you have done. So why not do it the easy way? Now let's talk about the aftermath, because of course it's become all about race. A white cop shoots a black man and you know all the riots and protests because of it. And this one is even more of a joke. Some BLM member decided to torch a car dealership. Do you know that that's someone's business? Do you know how long it takes to create a successful business? No, you don't. Because if you did, you wouldn't have done that. That saves billions of gallons of gasoline. I mean, billions of uh, 
two point, I think it's $2.3 billion worth of, excuse me. But you have destroyed something that somebody has worked for their entire lives because you have blind rage. You have no sense. Everybody who is out there riding and protesting and torching cop cars, understand that everything you're a part of is a movement of having no common sense. Think about it. 